We live in a time where the you go girl culture, along with the hypersexualization of society, has simply eradicated the value of men by creating a breed of man so desperately sex craves that he'll do anything entitled females demand of him to get it. The men who won't bow down to women must now come to terms with the fact that when he's in a relationship or even a marriage with a woman, there is a legion of men waiting like cackling hyenas for you to slip up. Women know this, and this is why a so-called equal relationship between a man and a woman cannot exist in Western society. In his natural state, the male wants freedom above all other things, and the only thing powerful enough to even begin to compete with this drive is his drive to reproduce. Uh, in fact, uh, I believe that man is in and always has been hindered between an inner conflict between his freedom and his desire for reproduction. The creative spirit versus the animal bull in rut obsessed with nothing but sex and more sex. Feminism has never been about the liberation of so-called oppressed women. My videos and the videos of many other MRAs here on YouTube thoroughly debunk the myth of women's oppression. Feminism from its inception has been about controlling men, the only gender that can actually overthrow an unjust and corrupt government. Women that claim to want traditional relationships consisting of turning dials on washing machines and dishwashers and doling out sex while you, the man, goes out to bust your ass to support her are deceptive and selfish parasites that are perfectly fine with letting you slowly degrade your own male vitality and health to make things easier for her. And the propensity for men to believe that there exists his own private, angelic, warm and serenic soulmate is the cause of much male suffering. Our identity has always been strained through a female filter first and then offered up to us, condensed in a solution of chivalry and misandry. But this is what I'm offering all of the men listening to this. A chance to contribute to a shift in male thought and attitude whether women and society want it or not. A nation of underappreciative, financially predatory, divorce-prone women that employ every dirty trick in the book towards turning unsuspecting men into cash cow automatons are the enemies of men, and men should treat these women as such, especially if you're a man going his own way. Uh, we're going to give an examination of the nuclear family irrespective of the way anybody else views it. Now it's time I inject the question of whether or not the traditional family is, as many have mentioned, uh, the most stable arrangement for raising well-adjusted children, whether or not this stability is achieved by an unfair tendency towards male disposability, and whether or not women remain faithful to traditionalism when other more lucrative opportunities present themselves. I operate under the implied idea that every woman in a bar or a club is a slut. Every single one of them. Women want power as much as men do. Specifically, they want to wield male power. They don't want to get their hands dirty, and violent men are all too happy to do that for them. On this channel, we observe the relationship of women as a collective with the state and how they've been using that relationship to benefit themselves at the expense of men. I'm speaking about Nawalt, aka not all women are like that, and the various other excuses that women who are actually like that give us time and time again to excuse the actions of the female collective. I mean, does it bother anyone else that we have an entire industry designed to tell men how to walk, talk, dress, and act so that women will want them? Does it not alarm anybody when they see the sheer magnitude of time and effort invested into this stupidity? Do you see how we've allowed women to dictate our worth based on access to an inherent anatomical orifice that they never had to work for, that they were just born with? The worship of pussy and women has to stop, and I intend to do as much as I can do to show men exactly what female worship is all about, because I believe that then, and only then, will men truly understand what it means to be free. I'd like to give my reasons why conservatism, at least in America in its modern state, is by no means an alternative or even a lesser of the two evils for men, and particularly those men that are men going their own way or ghosting or absconding from society or whatever you want to call it. I think a question that many of us dance around but rarely openly answer is to what degree are women responsible for feminism? You know, and it's this willingness to leverage the state against men to take what they want by force that I find evil and hypocritical. They want to be safe even if it means that others will suffer for it.